It's your boy Warlow back with another my team video. And it is the most important video today. We got super packs dropping tomorrow. And that should lower the market. Before we get into our full discussion, let's open up our one pack for our game win tree, which I made a video prior. And let's see if we get. Of course, we get nothing. We get a. <laughs> this game. <laughs> <laughs> ah, this game's funny. This game is funny. This game is so troll. <laughs> this game is so troll. But we are gonna have a discussion about the surpacks because that is dropping tomorrow. Like, what's gonna happen? What is gonna terminate? That's not even a word. But we're gonna have to have that full-on discussion right now because I think we're in for the most insane weekend in the market. We got Black Friday coming around. We got Super Packs coming. We have maybe potentially Thanksgiving content coming. And you know what that means? Okay, if you remember from previously, we're going to be discussing like previously. I just repeated myself. Apologies for that. But it was uh, the Day of the Dead, right? The, these, these exchanges. I'll just show them because, well... They pop up still. I don't feel like pulling it up. We got Shagilla's Alexander event. So I think for this, right, we are going to get a big time Thanksgiving event similar to this. It's going to be money hungry. But the good of that is it's going to tank the market. I don't know. Black Friday last year, they did a Hall of Fame badge. But the year prior, they did an Opal for 200k VC. Then like Super Packs as well. You have to add in the market. I don't know if they pop up. They don't pop up anymore. I'll just find a video so I can pop the odds up real quick. Okay, last season, this was the odds. You had 3.7% at Diamond. Now, last time I noticed something, like, there wasn't, like, Diamonds pop. Like, Russell Westbrook, for example. Like, there's so many Diamonds that last time... They, some went down, but you could tell they nerfed the odds of certain diamonds are getting pulled. But I feel like now we have 3.7% of diamond. So cards like Paolo Boncaro, Jaron Jackson, they're going to get pulled a lot more because most likely, I mean, it was 3.7 last season at diamond. And think about it, you got 1% at a pink, 1.2% at pink diamond. So you might, you know, the market is going to drop because think about it, a lot of those pink diamonds, there weren't opals in packs, so they were at that below 1% tier. So there's going to be all right odds of getting a pink, you know, pink diamond like Dr. J. At first, I was thinking to myself like, oh, they might not drop. But then I remember those cards were not in packs when it was at 1.2%. A lot of them were in it when like a lot of them came out. You know, they weren't they weren't in it when they were that high. And I forgot about Black Friday, too. I think you have to mention Black Friday, too, because this also has an impact on the market going forward. We got this last year. It was the Hall of, like I mentioned, it was the Hall of Fame badge packs and stuff of that nature. And I, like I said, that could drop the market, too. I mean, we don't, we, that wouldn't drop the market, but they also could do a player. So I'm interested how Black Friday, let me know in the comment section. What do you think they're going to do for Black Friday, Thanksgiving, all this stuff that they're going to be doing? Because we're in for a big money grabbing week, which. Isn't a bad thing though, because that means the market is going to drop. Like, it is not not like crazy. Remember, first last time the big time cards like the Galaxy Opals, they are not going to like the Galaxy Opals probably are not dropping because their odds are still going to be below one percent. But if you remember last season, this super bundle you had a twenty three percent chance at twenty dollars each pack. At a dang diamond card. So imagine the pink diamonds. They might have a 10%, 7%, 8% at all those pink diamonds tomorrow. And it might be 3% of opal. Because that happened last time. The pink diamonds went down. But they didn't go down that much. But I think with it being higher odds on the pink diamonds now. I think the pink diamonds are going to draw. I think the market is going to really ship downwards tomorrow. Like, I, not even tomorrow, a whole week. I think we need to be looking, not just this week, but we need to be looking every week going forward. Like, I was thinking about keeping my Michael Cooper at first because I was, because I overpaid for him and I maybe should have sold him. But I might just take the, I should have not played it. I, I should have sold this card back instantly. I think I might just sell him back for 46k because... You know, just because, because I just, I mean, maybe at that point it's just way too low. I should have sold it back instantly after I did the video, but it's all good. But Paolo Boncaro, if you're, I know he has 22 Hall of Fame badges, but 700k on Paolo Boncaro is crazy. 
But there's going to be a lot more Pablos on the market. There's going to be a lot more Jaron Jacksons on the market. A lot more Roys. There's no reason for any person. Like, I've seen Roy over 100K for a while. And I think, is he finally under? No, I think he just... No, okay, he's 100K. At least he finally went. Because this card has no reason to be 100K. Like, he's going to probably drop. But every Diamond card is going to really be dropping tomorrow. And, I, you know, the market could just rebound. We have to see what they do later. But, but for this week... And I think this week, 2K is just going to be out for money. The things we we know they're doing that. So that's going to be the main thing. Like, that is what's going to happen tomorrow. And these bundles, practice, I mean, this one gives you a 9.7% at a pink diamond. Now, imagine that odds. Because just looking at this odds. Imagine that with people opening with, like, with all these pink diamonds. Because there's a lot of these pink diamonds that aren't even on the market. If you look at these pink diamonds... For example, like Kevin Durant, there's only one up. There's going to be way more of them up. Jokic, there's only two up. Like, there's going to be a lot more of these pink diamonds getting pulled tomorrow. Stuff of that nature. And I wonder, like I said, I wonder what they're going to be doing. Because we know the mobile app is dropping on Friday. Forgot to also say that. I did make a video about that previously. So just know that on Friday. So something big is coming on Horizon. I do wonder, are they going to just skip Thanksgiving, though? Because it's on Wednesday and the season's Friday. Are they going to be mainly focused on Black Friday more than Thanksgiving this year? Which would be an odd choice. But honestly, with 2K, you just really never... You just you just really never know. So, like, even tomorrow, like, if you want to be on these filters... I mean, they're going to be popping up a lot. I wouldn't really... Man, my Terry didn't even sell... Like, real quick, if you're watching this video. My Terry, how much did my Dolph sell for? Man, okay. Yeah, I, 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 I be, I, 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 you know, I be, I be getting screwed. It's all good. It, it, it is all cool. I be, get, I be getting just straight screwed. But yeah, the market should be going down tomorrow. Obviously, if you have a Galaxy Opal, they're not going to drop. Like I'm telling you now, last time the lowest odds cards really they went down. Like Anthony Edwards, I would just sell him anyway because he likely is gonna go eventually. Like. It's Anthony Edwards. He's not good. He's only high because he locks in for something. But but I know some people are going to be asking, Carla, will the market like rebound later? It could be. After this week, you know, when things are back to normal, maybe. I just don't know, though. I think there's going to be a total shift. And we are gonna and we might see multiple Opals on it, even Black Friday. I think we're going to see multiple Opals for the Thanksgiving, Black Friday, whatever they want to call it, content. And that's going to be tanking the market. People are going to be trying to sell off their cards, anything to try to get some MT to buy these cards. So I really do think the market is going to go down this week. Not just for Monday. I think most people are going to mention just Super Packs. But I think you can't just talk about Super Packs. You got to mention the whole... You can't just mention the side meal. You got to mention the whole dish, okay? And I feel like all this type of stuff is going to have an effect on the market tomorrow. And cards like Sydney Moncrief, obviously I don't think they're really going to go down. Like... People might pull them, but they're not going to really go down because they lock in for stuff. But these pink diamonds, diamond cards are really going to take a turn. And looking at it, I mean, last season they did an Amethyst guarantee. You know what would be fire? I doubt they do it. It would be nice if these super packs, right, they guarantee you an opal. That would be actually really, really, really fire. Not opal. Diamond. <laughs> That's a opal. Man, y'all don't be thinking I'm stupid. Diamond card. Because you were guaranteed in these packs. We can just skip in the video. You were like, you were guaranteed a diamond topper. I mean, amethyst topper, I think, in these packs. I don't think they're going to make it amethyst. It would be nice if they guarantee you a diamond at least in your pack. Because then you have a chance that Bob Carroll every single box you open. That would at least make some more packs some more, more value. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but not saying that's obviously going to happen probably not going to and i got to add so i'm not going to be able to find it but that is just a drift i do think the market was going to go down first i wasn't thinking that thinking hmm i because i was just basing off last time but we can't really base that because last time like even the lowest like if we go 92 they were still at three percent too but there was no you know pink diamonds were still very low odds what were the pink diamonds at in these packs because it doesn't even say it doesn't even say what the odds were to pink diamonds real quick. I just, I pulled up on screen. I kind of forgot what it said. Yes, yeah, see, imagine this pack had, had higher, but I can't even find it. I can't find it, really. Can't really find it. Okay, right here. Yeah, it had 3.1% the bundle. Yeah, I can't, I can't even find it. 
Can't even find it. It's all good. I think it was below 1% on the highest tier. So, don't expect Opals to really go down much. But, the other cards, I do think the market's going to drop. So, do what you want with that. I felt like maybe I should have made a video earlier on this. Because so y'all can sell off some cards. I feel like it's a little too late. But, yeah. That's my personal thoughts on it. Let me know underneath what you think and how did you prepare? Did you sell anyone previously even before I upload it? And I will see y'all in the next one. And give me a 